Hi everyone, it's Umair from HK Tech Lab, and today I'm going to give you a video walkthrough of setting up uh, the text local bubble plugin. So uh, with this plugin, I have set up this uh, demo uh, app for for you to have a look on how the features on the back end are working. So uh, first of all, all you, uh, what you need to do is that we need to set up uh, the plugins API key. The text locals API key, you have to put it right here on this field and you can have a dev version optional uh, to use on your development mode uh, and this one for your production. And then once you have the API key set up, uh, this pl plugin provides you an action uh, almost similar to Bubble's native as email sending uh, mechanism, email sending actions. And if to use them, uh, if uh, I just show you uh, the demo re with reference to this application, uh, I have the sender name number here. Uh, this is something you set up in your text local account. You can acquire sender, sender names within your text local account and then your recipient number uh, wherever you want to send SMS and then the SMS content, which can be maximum 159 characters per SMS. And after that, we have the send message button right here. If I just click on it and start, uh, go to uh, workflows, we have this step one text local send message. Uh, it is visible to you under the plugins tab on the workflows. And uh, here you can find it with the name text local send message. So uh, we, we have to supply three things uh, here in, in, in order to send a message. The sender's name, I have the sender's name value here, the sender name value, uh, the sender recipient number field and SMS text. So uh, I'm supplying the sender names value, SMS text value, and the receiver numbers value. And uh, as we don't have an API key set up right here, so if I try to just send an SMS uh, using, let's just add SK Stack Labs, and add some number, you have to add proper country code here, 202-555-0100. Okay, and uh, testing the SMS functionality. So it is supposed to uh, present as an error message, which I set up right here, the error pop-up with uh, whatever the error message the plugin suppliers from, from the workflow. I'll show you what attributes it, it provides us and the success pop-up. So let's just send message. Okay, it shows that SMS sending has failed and the error messages API key not defined. So the plugin uh, provides you actually a beautiful interface to handle the error and success uh, in terms of uh, whether the SMS is sent or not. So uh, the plugin actually provides us a number of data attributes when the SMS is sent, when this workflow is uh, running. After it, it finished running, uh, it provides us these attributes like the cost for this SMS, the balance, the badge ID, the number on which the SMS is sent, the success, uh, it, it is a yes or no, uh, in case, depending on whether the SMS is sent or not. And after that, we have uh, this error code and error message. This is a numeric code representing which, which type of error is occurred on the back end. And this is an error message containing a string, a text string of what is the what exactly is the error message. So these are optional fields. They are empty if there is no error and the success is yes, and they have data only when the success is no. So to this way, you set up this, uh, let me just add one success is yes. Okay, let me explain you how I did it in this workflow. So basically on step one, it actually uh, sends the SMS and uh, on step two, it shows success power uh, only when the result of step one success is yes. And it shows an error in, in case of the result step one success is no. And it sets the state uh, of error of the page only when uh, success is no. It sets it to the result of step one's error message. And this is how you send the SMS from uh, this text local bubble plugin. So let me just add uh, my API key and then we'll send a, a message again 
one once again to just uh, see how it will confirm you sending a message okay so i have my api key set up uh, on the back end in the plugin stand and now if i just send a message uh, i'll add my number but going to hide it okay testing the sms send message and oh uh, yes the sms is sent and it, it is just confirming you because success attribute from the plugins workflow is yes so that's why it, it shows the success pop to us so this uh, is how you can configure the text local bubble plugin with your application and send message to your customers or users whoever you want to